There are five things you should look for in a young patient who presents with syncope. They are a prolonged QT interval, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, Brugada syndrome, Wolf Parkinson White, or a short PR interval, and arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia. So just going through this very quickly, the first one we'll talk about is the prolonged QT interval. The numbers you should know are typically gender specific, so in males, remember greater than 450 milliseconds, and in females, you could remember something like greater than 470 milliseconds. However, when you start seeing QT intervals in the 500s, then an alarm should go off in your head. And this is something you could quickly eyeball on the EKG by looking at the R to R interval and cutting it in half, depolarization or the end of the T wave should fall within the first half of this line. You could also confirm this, of course, by looking at the calculated QT interval at the top of your EKG. And anything greater than this should trigger you to think about causes of a prolonged QT interval. In hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, the classic story is an athlete who syncopizes with exertion. In this case, you're looking for signs of septal hypertrophy. I'll show you what I mean. The first thing you'll note is that the patient's EKG will meet voltage criteria for LVH, but the characteristic EKG findings of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the presence of dagger Q waves, specifically in leads 1, AVL, V5, and V6. These Q waves are narrow Q waves right here, which kind of look like knives or daggers, which is why some people call these dagger Q waves. Next is Brugada syndrome. Think of a young Asian male who syncopizes. This is an autosomal dominant sodium channelopathy that, in short, manifests on the EKG as right bundeloid, or pseudo-ST elevations which are best seen in the anteroseptal precordial leads. There are three types of Brugada ECG patterns, which we won't go into much detail, but in general, type 1 Brugada, you get this coved ST segment. In type 2 and 3, you'll see a saddleback pattern, with more prominent ST changes in type 2 and less so in type 3. Up next, we have Wolf Parkinson White, or WPW. The characteristic finding in WPW is the delta wave. This is caused by an accessory pathway connecting the atria and the ventricles, which bypasses the AV node, causing pre-excitation of the ventricles. The reason why these patients syncopize is because of reentry tachycardias that we call atrioventricular reentry tachycardias, or AVRTs. What you will see on the EKG are called delta waves, seen here. Sometimes it may be difficult to notice the delta wave, in which case we would rely on the length of the PR interval. In this case, when the PR interval is less than 120 milliseconds, you should be suspicious about WPW. There are other causes for a short PR interval, such as the Lown Gannon Levine syndrome. However, they are not as prevalent as WPW. So, regardless, a short PR interval or the presence of a delta wave equals bad. Finally, we have arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia. This is also inherited as an autosomal dominant trait and is the second most common cause of sudden cardiac death in young people next to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The ECG finding is characteristic of the epsilon wave, which is this small positive deflection at the end of the QRS complex. Sometimes it may be buried within the QRS complex, so it may be difficult to see. If you do see this, keep in mind that the epsilon wave is the most specific finding in these patients. If you don't see it, there are other non-specific findings that can raise your suspicion in the right clinical setting. And these ECG findings include T-wave inversions or a prolonged S-wave in V1 through V3. So in summary, in young patients presenting with syncope, it's important to remember these five things. A prolonged QT interval greater than 500 milliseconds. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with the presence of dagger Q waves. Brugada syndrome with the presence of right bundeloid, coved, or saddleback morphology in leads V1 through V3. Wolf Parkinson White and the presence of its delta wave or a short PR interval, less than 120 milliseconds. 
And finally, arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia and the presence of the epsilon wave.